Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and it looks like Enhancement Shamans have got quite an interesting buff in today's update. I haven't looked at these details in terms of the buffs that Enhancement have gotten. I wanted to save it for kind of like a live reaction so you guys can see what are my thoughts on all these changes. So, what I know, however, is Enhancement has gotten quite a lot of buffs. A lot of abilities are going to be hitting a lot harder. And Blizzard is trying to make certain towns a little bit more competitive. Some nerfs, but mostly buffs as far as understood it. So let's take a look at this potentially really exciting update for Enhancement Shamans in this update of Shadowlands Beta. Now, I'm pretty sure most of these updates are going to be making it to the pre-patch kind of soon, maybe next week because these are some of the updates that have been added to shaman or maybe what blizzard will do is they will kind of keep it on the beta let people test it so they can fine-tune it and then they'll transfer some of those updates to the pre-patch but maybe potentially in pre-patch enhancement might get a pretty big power spike even at level 50. take a look at some of these updates for enhancement first of all we have ourselves a uh, an aura that's gotten changed a bit so the auras are basically just like a class thing that it's an aura that's applied to a variety of abilities that can buff them or nerf them by a certain amount. And these auras help scale abilities a little bit easier. Um, and Blizzard seems to be, with some specs, be kind of going back and removing these auras. So it looks like maybe it's more of an archaic design. But auras are still pretty influential for a lot of specs. There's actually a lot of auras that nerf or buff certain abilities massively. And for a while, Enhancement Shamans, in fact, actually have had an aura that modifies healing and damage of certain abilities, mostly your uh, spells, your casts, something like a lightning bolt or even a healing surge. If you're trying to heal an ally, do damage to an enemy, both of those abilities were actually modified to be a negative 50. So they were nerfed pretty heavily to kind of cap for Enhancement Shaman playstyle. You're not an intellect user, so I guess Blizzard was thinking maybe that those intellect based abilities should probably not do nearly as much damage for you and such but it looks like that restriction on a lot of these aura abilities have actually been nerfed so this value went from negative 50 to now negative 35. this means a buff to a variety of abilities like chain heal earth and smash which is an ability really lava bolt lightning bolt which lightning bolt enhancement does have but they don't have lava bur uh, lava bolt Elemental Blast got buffed, Chain Lightning got buffed, there's like two different versions of Chain Lightning, Deluge, uh, Healing Surge got removed off of this, so it looks like a variety of abilities have gotten buffed. Elemental Blast got added into this playstyle and its value apparently increased as well, so R is a little bit sketchy in terms of trying to really truly figure out exactly what they do and they are have always been a little bit of an anomaly to me and it seems that blizzard for the most part is trying to go to certain classes certain specs and remove them off of these auras instead balance those abilities separately for each spec but i guess enhancement shaman being a class or shaman being a class that has an agility spec and an intellect spec these auras are most likely gonna stick what I'm trying to say here, though, is it looks like there was a pretty significant buff to your Chain Heal, uh, Healing Surge, Lightning Bolt, and Elemental Blast. So I kind of wanted to test this out here in today's update first. So I want to see how hard things hit. So, for example, if we are playing with a Lightning Bolt, that can hit for 3k now. <laughs> <laughs> that could hit for 3k this is normally would be a lightning bolt together with something like stormkeeper but that can hit for 3k okay now the big one apparently the heals are huge now i just heal myself for 10k i just heal myself for 10k this is crazy that's a third of my health this obviously needs some testing, and since these updates are in the beta, but they are not on live right now, it's a perfect opportunity for us to compare how it affects our current level 50 characters, because we can see the healing at level 60 is quite significant, as well as the damage, of course. So, some numbers for comparison between beta as well as in live. On the beta right now, a regular lightning bolt after all these buffs at a level 50 character plus or minus all the procs that you can happen in BFA, is about almost 900 damage, just the cast itself. On live, the cast for Lightning Bolt is about 600, not even close to 700. So that's quite a big difference there. But if you were to combine Lightning Bolts with Maelstrom, then you get the slightly different picture. Since most of us are going to be Lightning Bolting with Maelstrom, that's going to significantly increase the damage. 
and that looks like about 2,000 non-crit, getting close to 4,000 critical strike. That's about a fifth of someone's health if you were to look at it from a PvP perspective. In comparison to live, Lightning Bolt with Maelstrom is going to do more damage, but it is going to be less, even crits. So this means a significant single target increase for Shaman. Lightning Bolt isn't an ability as spammed as Storm Strike, but it might as well be. This means a direct increase to the damage output for Shaman, not even including some of the different talents that might combine to buff the damage of your Lightning Bolt. Going back to the beta, I wanted to test that Elemental Blast change since that's going to be quite significant. 1,400 non-crit damage normal cast and paired together with Maelstrom, non-crit almost 4,000. Imagine if this ability did crit in my testing. That would have been way more than a fourth of someone's health. On live, my Elemental Blast did crit to get higher damage, but if it was a non-crit, the damage would basically be halved. So, yes, the damage of the Elemental Blast on beta is pretty significantly increased, very similar to that of a Lightning Bolt, but I would say that this ability is now even more of an impact ability. And this, not even saying much about Elemental Blast on live. On live, it was already pretty decent, but this is looking quite like a big Chaos Bolt-style ability, only doing 1,900 paired together with Maelstrom, where on the beta is doing about 4,000 damage. Another bit of information I thought you guys might find significant is the self-heals of your Shaman. Healing Surges on beta are healing for about 2,000 non-Maelstrom charged, which is a decent heal at level 50. But combined with Maelstrom, it can crit to up to 10k. That means as an Enhancement Shaman, if you are PvPing, and you only have 20,000 health, if you are consuming Maelstrom, and if your heal ends up critting, it could be half your health in a single global. Now, this would definitely, definitely kind of show Paladins off, where we thought Retribution Paladins with their Word of Glories were really topping themselves with the Lay on Hands. This is basically a Lay on Hands for Enhancement. Compared to live, the self heal is still decent, or at least you would think, as long as it crits, if it crits, then it does reach the same numbers as on the beta. But when it's a non-crit, it's only about 1,200 worth of heal. However, as Enhancement Shaman, you're most likely going to be pairing this heal together with Maelstrom. Because that's the ability in combo that's going to make your self-heals actually worth something. And I'm pretty sure you can pair it together with Honor Talents to give you even more healing. And even an Earth Shield to make it even tankier. But... Since we were using the same build on both beta and live, the live version can crit up to 5k, which is still a significant portion of your health, but not 10k. So yes, this seems like overall, most of your casts are almost doing double the effectiveness on beta. But another ability I want to check is the damage that Elemental Blast can do for your Shaman. So let's try to see if we can build up a little bit of Maelstrom, get ourselves maybe a big damage available. 5k hit so that could be a 10k crit together with elemental blast that you can call a significant increase to the damage output so it looks like a lot of the cast abilities for shaman that will be used through maelstrom have gotten a significant tune up compared to where they were then there's a variety of channels that have also gotten updates first one is going to be with fire nova fire nova is an interesting talent in terms of i kind of like the idea behind it of being able to put a flame shock on a bunch of enemies and being able to kind of have the flame shock flare up. Hell, in fact, Fire Nova used to be the way that you would do AoE damage as enhancement. You even had a combo where you would put flame shock on one target, hit him with lava lash. If you hit an enemy with a flame shock with lava lash, it makes that flame shock spread and then pop Fire Nova right after. And the amount of damage you could do to things was insane because enemies would take separate fire damage and then kind of like the spread AoE of the location. So a bunch of enemies clumped up together would be insane bo boss damage. So if the boss, let's say, has eight adds around him, the boss takes a huge hit, but also the adds just meld themselves with it. So Fire Nova becoming talent, I was actually excited about, but turns out it wasn't that good. So Blizzard buffed it to do more damage. So now Fire Nova will do 866. It looks like it was almost, almost doubled in damage. So hopefully this will make this ability a bit better. Forceful Winds have gotten a bit of a nerf right now too. Uh, wind Fury causes each successive Wind Fury attack within 15 seconds to increase damage of Wind Fury by 35% instead of 50. I think Blizzard wants people to play with Wind Fury and they've gotten a pretty good balance where Wind Fury weapon by itself can do now decent damage and Forceful Winds isn't, they want to make it less necessary because it felt like this ability together with this Forceful Winds 
together with a legendary for wind fear when you drop down your wind fear totem it felt like it was too much of a required combo to combine together but let's say if somebody wants to play this legendary but wants to play lashing flames or wants to play elemental blast now they should be able to do it so forceful winds is still going to be good i think it's still going to be good together with the wind fury buff uh but it's going to be less of like a must have and less of like only talent choice to go for unless you go in a very specific play style to give a little bit more freedom i think in the level 15 row hailstorm has been nerfed a little bit it looks like it was a really strong combo in this first row so i think they're trying to make fire nova a little bit better hailstorm was insanely good with the frost shock and it felt like it was the only option for cleaving aoe so with this nerf maybe hailstorm fire nova and elemental assault might be a little bit closer to one another also blizzard increased the damage of ice strike strike the target with an icy blade dealing 2300 frost damage and snaring them for 50 percent for six seconds successful ice strikes reset the cooldown of flame shock and frost shock this ability i actually was kind of excited about but i thought it was really cool the idea and the talent and how it plays into this play style i thought it was a little bit more consistent than the original ability that gets you to reset flame shock and frost shocks and i like it it just never really panned out so i'm glad that they're buffing it by a little bit also lash of flames have gotten a small buff as well it's just a 20 second duration instead of 12 seconds so maintaining the flame shock debuff is a little bit more is a little bit better especially if you're playing like an elemental assault full single target build where you want to spam as many storm strikes you don't need to get lava lashes out nearly as often if you're just trying to spread the buff will also be really good for cleave fights now the last thing blizzard did is actually buffed the damage output of feral spirits uh, they said that the ap scaling now has been drastically increased there's even a blue post that talks i think about the exact okay here we go blizzard said feral spirits has been damage cooldown for a headspace shaman for many years but has been slowly pushed down to be less effective relative to your other abilities in this build we increased the attack power scaling of feral spirits by 250 percent to make it feel more impactful to use as a dps cooldown this is going to be kind of cool i actually am excited i'm very interested what the damage output of this ability is going to be so we'll begin our auto attack and we'll just summon the wolves kind of just see how much damage they can do by themselves and it looks like the wolves are a little bit stronger i don't think they're going to be anything insane like summoning the army for your um i do wonder if they benefit from wind fear attack i doubt they do unless i have the totem down but i don't think it's going to be like army of the dead for uh unholy dks or anything like that but i think them doing a bit more damage is going to be a little bit more significant especially if you end up running a legendary that actually lets you get wolves up a lot more often so let me actually try that as a combination so let's go for a let's try elemental blast and just kind of i want to see how well wolves play in terms of their play style right now i'm gonna run elemental spirits so i can have a shorter cooldown for him i do want to exchange one legendary so i'll probably go with the uh this helm right here as a og legendary and replace one of my rings that doesn't have haste with the maelstrom uh increases the chance to gain stack of maelstrom weapon by three percent whenever you gain stack of maelstrom weapon the cooldown of feral spirits is reduced by two seconds i want to see how often you can get those wolves and how much damage can they do is it going to be significant enough to be a good portion of my damage output or not for my build since we are almost a single target elemental blast let's go storm fury we'll go elemental assault just for the sake of having a normalized play style and i kind of just want to see what percentage of my damage is going to be ghost wolves after like hitting an enemy target for i don't know let's do like three minutes all right i think i'm as ready as i can be in terms of my play style get the wolves up and running immediately here they are beautiful um i am gonna have a little bit of cleave just because of my position here not much you can really do about it so i'll try not to be super greedy on the cleave okay i forgot to start my timer but i was just a little bit over th three minutes so at least i collected a little bit of data with the gear and the play style i didn't go super try hard in terms of pop and lust and really trying to amp it with all the damage possible i tried to do as much damage as i could with my wolves and keep them on cooldown now this is the damage the spirit wolves were able to do by themselves in just the auto attacks 5.3 percent of my damage there is a thing to be mentioned here is their uptime it is going to be a lot higher than it normally would have because of this legendary but you can see feral spirits every time they're up that me uh, every time this buff is up that means i have spirits so this buff lasts for 15 seconds you can see it had a 43 percent uptime 
of this fight. So with this legendary, it is going to be slightly skewed damage because of the legendary allows me to have spirits up more often and therefore the damage of them would be as high as up here because of this playstyle. So I do wonder how this is going to be maybe with Ascendance. I really think I should try it with Ascendance as well to see how much damage it does, but Elemental Blast is really overperforming compared to what I was expecting. It's doing a lot of damage. Elemental Bolt, Lightning Bolt also is doing quite a bit. Melee, of course, is doing quite a lot. Lightning, uh, Crash Lightning is doing quite a bit as well. So I do want to try my original build with Vin Fury Weapon Focus to see how much spirit damage the spirit is due during that playstyle. But I think that'll be very interesting. And then you have the a little bit of Icy Edge, Molten Weapon, which is a little bit of damage. So it's just a little bit of an increase, maybe about a percent or so. But I do wonder how much damage it'll do. But if you are playing like a really short build with wolves, running a legendary for wolves, 5% of your damage with just pets alone is really not bad in my opinion. Let me try the Ascendance build, the OG build. All right, I think I'm ready. And this time I will have the timer properly tracking me and everything. So yeah, I'm kind of already messing it up a little bit for not going into straight Ascendance, but it's okay. All right, time. And then we should be able to see how much damage the wolves did. So this time I didn't play into a pretty big wolf playstyle. And of course the wolf damage is gonna be much lower. I didn't really have nearly as much uptime. In fact, in comparison, I only had a 15% uptime in comparison to the others, which was really close to 50%. But it looks like wolves are a little bit stronger. I don't think it's going to make a massive swing in terms of the damage for the most part but having wolves be a bit more consistent i think makes it an actual cooldown that you might be able to use if you want to say wolves for a certain phase to get more damage those wolves will add a little bit more of a bite to them so normally wolves would be just something for a little bit extra value in terms of just the um just the resources that gives you the maelstrom whether it was the maelstrom bar back at bfa or the new maelstrom change that have happened in this expansion where it's now maelstrom stacks and maelstrom charges so I think wolves and going for like a wolf heavy build might actually be a really solid combo and makes that legendary a lot better. But it's just overall also a flat damage increase for shamans in general. Combined together with all the other changes we've had, I think this is looking really interesting. I'm actually kind of a kind of a fan here. And it looks like when Fury attacked, they did kind of end up nerfing it down. Even with the legendary now, when Fury is still quite a bit of your damage. I mean 16% of your damage is basically as much as Storm Strikes, but it has been toned down a bit so if you weren't happy and weren't really excited to play the wind fury attack playstyle and want to have more of a hybrid playstyle more of range based abilities maybe for pvp then i think you should be pretty excited with these updates for enhancement shaman in particular overall it looks like that's quite a few changes to enhancement shamans for a variety of different builds that you may want to try out i think this is looking kind of good actually in a sense that I like some of these changes, like the wolves becoming more of a stronger cooldown. I think it was about time if wolves just never really felt that satisfying a blizzard doing something to make them a little bit better is a good step in the right direction. Buffing the damage of and healing of some of your cast based abilities, as long as it does show up properly in level 50 testing, I think this is a good change overall because enhance felt like in PvP that you weren't having enough healing, you're not really tanky, so at least having some better heals is a good thing. And being able to do some more range damage with lightning bolts and stuff i think it's awesome adds a bit more hybridness to the spec makes it kind of like a pseudo survival hunter in a way i think this is going to be very beneficial for pvp and might even have some benefits for pve not just damage itself but also just being able to do damage at that range i think it could be very interesting overall i think it's an interesting way to try to buff enhancement shamans to be at about same field as other specs and I really would love to try this in dungeons as well. I think I want to do that on stream the next time I get a go. Thank you so much for checking out this video though. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think about these enhancement shaman updates. And I'll see all of you guys in another video.